your fish heads. Shen Crevasse, Jekyll Batesy, it's Saturday in the shop and getting ready to hit it over on the spray bench. Got a bunch of stuff in front of me that I told you that I was going to get to yesterday, the day before, but we're going to get to it today, this morning. Just had five or six big orders go out. I've got a few more that are getting ready to go out. This is all part of one order, except for this guy. Let's actually start with this guy. Now this is a little lipless crankbait. It's about 14 grams, half a pound, or half a pound, <laughs> about half an ounce. That would be, uh, that'd be a lot to throw for this little lipless. It, uh, it's getting a lot of traction in Europe. These things catch the mess out of yellow perch, panfish. I would imagine they're going to do the same thing over here in the States. The cool thing about it, other than the unique size and shape of this thing and these dead meat custom eyes on here, let's see if the camera can actually focus on something today, is that it has an adjustable line tie. You can move it forward, you can adjust it backwards, you can do whatever you need to do to get this little thing to move the way you want it to do. And that's important as you transition from warmer water to cooler water. This thing, this little guy, um, it's got a big belly on it. And I think that uh, that it's going to do very well. And I've seen this pattern swim before. I have not personally tested it yet. I'm going to do that. But I have seen it swim. And it is cool. It's got, it'll fly off and then come right back in and hunt and wobble. It's got, it almost reminds me of how a wiggle wart moves in the water. I'm on a handheld today. I'm moving around. Uh, I've got the tripod set up for something else. So you've got me on the handheld, but this is a, I just did a little yellow perch in honor of the perch that it catches over in Europe. Um, there's a lot of like yellow perch competitions are a big, big, big deal, especially like Amsterdam, Netherlands. Um, just, it's a cool thing to do. And uh, I kind of miss yellow perch. There are yellow perch in bull shoals, but um, not near to the, the, numbers that we had in Maryland and Pennsylvania and, and, and the Northeast area. New York is famous. And, and you, you'll get that. Like we, bull shoals, I think that they'll, I've, I've seen somebody, Kit Polebender caught one that was like over a pound, which may have been a state record, but I'm not sure at that point she knew what it was and didn't know to have it right. So that's like, oh man, that's a bummer, but it was huge. She did have pictures of it, which is very cool. So yep, yeah, um, enough on that. Three rats, like three blind mice. Um, cool thing about these little guys is the eyes. You guys have seen this pattern numerous times on this channel, but I do love these eyes. So, got that really cool knocking sound. We'll put it on the, the good mic over to my right, which is off camera. When I talk about the good mic, I'm talking about this guy right here. Um, that's normally what I speak into when I'm on a tripod with you guys because filming in 4K from my phone, which is the only unit I have currently that does shoot in 4K, um, the, the microphone is just garbage. It's absolute garbage. So I always try to, and that takes a little bit longer in editing too. Um, it takes a bit longer to sync up and splice together and all that jazz, all that good stuff. Somebody said when I showed them a picture of bright fluorescent yellow with a bright flu uh, fluorescent orange belly they wanted to see the finished product you guys have probably seen these before these are just walleye baits uh, these are as a matter of fact talking about new york these are going up to new york and they are out of here today headed up for that fall walleye action they are cool That orange and blue play very well off of one another. And then we've got, you guys have seen this before, my Imperial Cross, constantly evolving on this 65. And then just to give you a little shot, this is, I think, when you're looking at a solid bait and not all the crazy colors, it gives you a better portrayal of what the, what the bait is that they're on. So... And these are those now you see it now you don't holographic these are cool aren't they cool aren't they cool these are from dinger get you some these things are awesome swim really well too go look on his uh, medium diver 
Yep. Very, very cool. So that's pretty much what I've got these for. You guys have seen those. This is the finished product. And it looks darker now because I've got that, um, that schminky on it that uh, goes from white to the purple. Oops, upside down. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. But just working on getting the shad right and making them look like shad. And look at how flashy that's going to be in the water. Oh, yeah. We're going to be fishing the mess out of this. I'm, keep, I'm keeping a couple of these. I got a 50-pack that I'm working on uh, <laughs> spraying down. And I'm on a time frame um, furiously painting for the next couple of weeks or so just to meet that deadline. So that is what we've got going on um, trying to create some really cool patterns for you guys and i will see you guys on the next video it's going to be a spray session it's going to be so if you guys follow my instagram feed it's uh at jekyll424 i think um i always get that in my twitter mixed up but twitter is just jen Cravasi. but uh, instagram you have until midnight tonight to look at the um it's it, the the photo is you call the shots and you get to choose what pattern you would want on one of these baby bull shads and i've got it right here ready to go for you guys you name a fish pattern that you would want to see i'm going to do a random drawing i'm going to paint it on camera step by step for you guys and then i'm going to send it to you anywhere and I do mean anywhere. So that means that if you're a winner and you're in Australia or you're in China or you're in some random place, it could be anywhere on the planet, I'm going to send it to you. Absolutely, 100%, if you win. So I'll just pick a randomizer. It's got to be legit comments. Don't, you know, don't ask me to paint the apocalypse. It's got to be a fish pattern. So uh, unfortunately, a rat, as cool as it is, is not a fish pattern. And the reason that I'm keeping it to fish is that it's going on a swim bait. And then you're not gonna see a crawl pattern on a swim bait. You're not gonna see, well, maybe it will, but you, you shouldn't, because I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to stuff like that. Um, yeah, so keep it to fish. It could be any fish, it could be saltwater fish, it could be inshore, it could be redfish, it could be a snook, it could be a coral grouper, or it could be a bass, could be a bluegill, could be something simple, could be a darter, could be whatever it is you want. It's got to be a fish, though. So go over to Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below. You've got till midnight tonight to leave me a comment and have a chance to win this beautiful baby bull shad from Ketchco and Mike Triton Buca. See ya. Thanks for playing along. I'll be on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Banks.